Hello, welcome back to Old Hickory's Canna Meds. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a blue mat gravity feed drip irrigation system. It's a really cool system. It uses gravity feed and uh, sensors in the soil that actually don't take any electricity to keep your soil a constant level of moist. It starts with our reservoir. A reservoir has to be a minimum of three feet above the soil line. Mine looks more like about four and a half to five feet. I basically put it as high as I could. This is a 50 gallon stock tank. Got it at Tractor Supply Company. I think it was $70. And with it at a slope, running to one end, I could put about 40 gallons of water in it, something like that. Now I've went ahead and put some water in it, filled it up, at least uh, about 20 gallons or so because I wanted to check my connections here for leaks. Now I've run, I ordered from Sustainable Village is the website where I got all my blue mat stuff. I got this brass fitting right here to go into the bottom of the stock tank if you drill a hole. I like the brass way better than the plastic because you can get it actually tight. Another thing I like to do is I use this blue RTV silicone where I tighten that through the hole and then let it set up for a cup a day, at least a day before I put any water in it. And that goes to a half inch PVC mail adapter right over here to a good hard shutoff valve. And then right here we've got a blue mat filter. It's a little screen inside of here and it has its own little shutoff right there for the eight millimeter tubing is what it is. Now this tubing right here is an eight millimeter silicone. This is what they sell from Sustainable Village and this is your main supply line. This is what we're gonna make our loops around our beds with and it's what's running out of the filter, the screen filter out of the bottom of this tank to all of our, what they're called carrots our blue mat carrots. Now before you start working, you're going to want to take your blue mat carrots apart. They unscrew, this is the top part here. And down in there, we have the actual carrots themselves. They look kind of like a carrot. They're made out of ceramic. They have to be full of water with no air bubbles. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you here in a little bit how to put them together without any air bubbles inside so that you're guaranteed to have a good success your first run with these blue mats. Some people have some problems with them, but you got to make sure that there's no air bubbles when you get them screwed together and that they're absolutely full of water. Just so you can kind of get an idea of how this is going to work, We've got our main half inch supply coming, reducing down through that filter to an eight millimeter silicone tubing. Now I've got these half inch PVC sleeves that I've attached to this beam to keep this out of my feet and keep it off the floor so that if I have to step, I'm not gonna step on this and it's not gonna trip on it. Come out of there, it's gonna, I've already got one side ran. It's gonna come through the sleeve there and into the bed. Now what I did was I went ahead and cut a hole, just a little slit through my fabric pot and that keeps that down in there and hold it in place because it was dripping over here and looking kind of strange. Now this makes a loop that goes all the way around and at the far side what we have here is very important. This is an air bleeder valve. This is how we're going to get any air out of our system if we ever have a problem, if it happens to run out of water, which you really don't ever want to run your reservoir out of water with these blue mats. We'll open up this valve here and it will release the air that is built up in the line right there. Now I'm going to go ahead and strap on the headgear and I'm going to give you some live action shots of how to put together one of these systems. I'll go ahead and show you how to put these little valves on. These are pretty handy. It's like a compression fitting for this tubing so it's kind of guaranteed to not come out. You need to slide the nut on that. Go ahead and push your tubing up over that barb. 
Make sure you've got it clocked the right direction you want it. And then cinch that down. And that is not coming out. Go ahead and start by sticking our T with our air bleeder valve on the end of this tube. And we're just going to put it over here in that corner farthest away from where this T is going to go over here. This is the T that's going to be the supply feed coming from the reservoir. We'll take and come up a little bit off the surface of our soil in there and just make a little slit through the fabric. Take and feed this tubing through our sleeve. And stick that through our hole that we've made in the fabric. And then we'll come down to this end. We'll cut it to length. And then we'll go ahead and stick it on. And now our water supply coming from the reservoir is ran up to this point. We're just gonna take our tubing over around here, attach it to the other side of our T there. knock this cover crop down out of our way and now we want to hold this up here get our length we'll hold our finger on it and now we have completed our loop okay now I'm going to show you the most critical part about using these blue mat carrots we want to make sure that all of the air is out of these and they're 100% water. And what we do is we take a pipette like this, that's, we fill it up with water, and then we stick it in the holes in the top of this cap, and we can see that I'm shooting water, air bubbles out of that by forcing water up in there. Now that's what we want to do. We want to get rid of all the air bubbles inside that cap. Now after all the air bubbles are done coming out, we go ahead and find one of our bodies, our carrot bodies, that's on the bottom here. Kind of shake it around to get the air bubbles out of it. We want to hold them under water and screw them together till they're tight. Now this one is ready to install. We go ahead and leave them soaking in water until we're ready to put them in the dirt. This is the top of my blue mat digital tensiometer meter. This part is electronic. You do not want to get this wet. However, the lower part of this meter is exactly like a blue mat carrot. Now all this stuff you want to soak for at least an hour in all completely underwater before you go trying to screw it together. Now we can't screw this electric one together while it's underwater. So what I do is with this full, I go ahead and fill that up until it's actually above the level of the top there. You can see it. And then I will take and screw this on and it will force any excess water out around those threads. And just like anything with a blue mat, you always want this to be moist or else it's going to lose its water. So we're going to go ahead and take this and stick it down in our soil where we're going to keep it for a little while. Okay, these right here are distribution drippers. This is a three millimeter tubing 
that runs from dripper to dripper. You can have up to five of these off of each one of your carrot sensors and they just kind of go in a row. You have to keep your tubing here uh, just a little less than eight inches on these you want to cut. Now these come with their dripper screws screwed all the way in. You're going to want to unscrew these or you're going to have a problem. If these are tight, screwed down, they're not going to drip any water out. So you want to take and unscrew them until they come all the way out. And then you want to put them back in there and start them. And just give them about one to two turns. Real loose, that way water can still come out. You take and start building your chain of your drippers. Put five of them on each carrot. Now the very last dripper is not a T. This is a termination dripper. It doesn't go to any more. Make sure to unscrew it so that it'll let water out. Now on these drippers, they're gonna take a stake that just snaps right on. That's gonna hold them up above the soil. You'll wanna go ahead and get all of these dripper chains assembled before you go to install your carrots. Now when it comes time to go ahead and put your distribution drippers and carrots in, I find it easier to run my distribution lines where I want them. And then I'll go ahead and put the carrots in wherever we're gonna tie those in. Now I've got these distribution lines run with all the drippers. I'm gonna put four carrots in each bed. That's gonna be plenty good. You kinda want some redundancy in case one of them fails. You always wanna make sure that you're getting water to your stuff. Now something you might notice, there's two different kinds of carrots that I got here. One is the standard length, and the other is what they call a maxi carrot. Now the maxi carrot just reaches further down to sense the moisture down lower into the soil than the standard size one does. I'm gonna have three standard size carrots and one maxi carrot in each bed. This tube right here runs through this actually screws down and pinches the tube off. That's how you adjust it. Now you can pull this tubing through one way or another. You want your first dripper to be within three inches of the carrot. You don't want too much tubing. It's, they they kind of come like this. I like to just kind of split it in half. We'll go with that. I'm gonna go ahead and connect the tubing onto the dripper first. Slide that on there. And then I'm going to wipe my, move my mulch aside, expose the soil. And I'm going to go right down inside there with this carrot until I get to the green portion there. And then that's all the deeper that goes in. Now we got to tie it into our main line with this T. So we'll just cut it like that and stick our tubing in there. And then there's the first carrot installed. Now that we have our carrots all installed, we want to turn on our water. And we want to bleed the air out of our lines with our bleeder valves that we've installed. So we go ahead and leave this open. And there we go. We're starting to see some water flow out of it. We go ahead and let that water run until there's no air bubbles coming out. Looks like a pretty good flow to me. We'll shut that valve. You want to bleed the air out of both beds so that the entire system is free of air and all filled with water. 
so that we can start adjusting our carrots. That's the hardest part. Okay, now we've got our air blood out of our lines. We want to start adjusting our drippers. Basically what we want to do is we want to open these up until they drip. Well, we can already see that some of these are dripping. We'll adjust that until it just stops dripping. Now, to say what they want to do, there, there's a there's a knob here, and there's little triangles all around the edge of it. Now, we want to open this valve until the drippers start dripping water. Now this is all assuming that you either have a tensiometer to tell what your moisture is or you've already hand watered your bed to where you want it. Now that we've opened that we can see that we're dripping. Now we want to close it just slightly at a time until we've got just a hanging drip. Okay, now once we've got the hanging drip we take and just close it one more triangle. And then that carrot should be adjusted for now. We will always go off of these tensiometers. Now what we want our tensiometer reading to be in here is anywhere between 30 and 45. I mean maybe even somewhere between 25 and 45. That's pretty moist, but it seems to work pretty well so far for me. I can't argue with success, really. So we've got to go ahead and adjust all four of these in our whole bed until they've just got a hanging drip. And then we will close them one triangle after that. And we'll be checking the tensiometer readings on this every day. At least for the next week or so until we get it set to where we want it. Now I want to show you just exactly what I mean by a hanging drip. I'm going to go ahead and open this. Yeah, now you see it dripping. Now I'm going to close it real slow until it's got a drip there, but it's not constantly dripping. It just holds itself right there. Now that we've got the hanging drip there, we take and we're gonna close that one more triangle on our knob. And then we're gonna call that adjusted. Looks like we've got ourselves another job well done. We've got four blue mat carrots in each bed. That's three regular size carrots and then one maxi carrot in each bed. We went ahead and adjusted them all to where they have a hanging drip and then one triangle closed. Now I gotta keep an eye on these tensiometer meters over the next probably few days to a week to make sure that we got our numbers correct. I'm going to go ahead and show right now we've got this one is on 40 in this bed with the lemon pie and over here in the bed that has the jelly bean our tensiometer is sitting at 33. Now those are pretty good numbers pretty close to where we want it and I think that we can be good with that for now. But anyways, if you got anything out of this, go ahead and leave a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Be sure and share this with all your friends. And until next time, this has been Old Hickory, signing off.